Thank you for choosing SmartBot. This is a very useful tool to help you address a number of water-related problems. If you have any issue while using the pump, you may be able to address it yourself. If further assistance is needed, after watching this video, you can contact our service center using the information provided at the end. Now let's review several situations that might arise and how you can address them. Check it out. Always unplug your smart butt pump from its power source before troubleshooting. The proper operation of the pump is to put the pump in the water first, and then plug it in. If you plug in the pump first and then put it in the water, the pump will not work. If this happens, you can unplug the pump for 30 seconds and then plug it back in. If your pump doesn't start or kicks off quickly, start with the basics. Make sure the pump has power. If the pump does have power, the LED indicator lights will be green. If the LED indicator lights are not green, make sure you do have power. Check your cord for frays or damage. Check your breaker box for a tripped breaker or a blown fuse. If you do have power, also make sure and remember that you need at least two inches of water for the SmartBot pump to kick on. The auto sensor capabilities at the bottom may have some residue or damage to the sensors. You can use a small clean brush to wipe the sensors off and try again. Don't forget to brush the top of the auto sensor as well. Alternatively, you can try unplugging your SmartBot for 30 seconds and plugging it back in. If your pump is powered on, but it's not pumping or the flow rate is low, you want to check a couple of things. Make sure that the suction pump, the bottom of the pump, is not obstructed. If it is, remove any obstructions. You also want to check that your discharge hose is not kinked or blocked. If it is, unkink the hose or remove any obstructions. Remember, the SmartBot pump operates when you have two inches of water. You can remove the six screws on the bottom of the pump at the suction head. Removing this plate will show you whether the impeller is blocked by something like long fibers or string, some kind of garbage. If it is blocked, remove those objects, place the plate back on, and replace the six screws. If you're using your pump to pump off a pool cover, it's possible that the soft plastic of the pool cover can get stuck to the bottom of the pump. To solve this problem, you can separate the pump from the pool cover using a piece of wood or a hard plastic surface to make sure that the water can enter into the suction. Or you can purchase a pool cover base plate available on our website. If for some reason dirt or debris gets under the base plate where the impeller is, this can interfere with the sensors, the auto off sensors. If this happens, you can remove the base plate and clean the sensors using a soft brush or even running the sensor areas under clean water. You want to avoid having the sensors in contact with moisture uh, when there is no water or else the pump won't turn off. Once the area is clean and the base plate is put back on, you put the pump back in the water to make sure that everything's functioning properly. If your connectors and adapters aren't fully tightened or sealed, you can use pipe joint compound or you can use a set of channel locks to help you get that last, but always use them gently. We hope this video can help you resolve any issue you might have. SmartBot pumps are built to last. We offer a one-year warranty to prove it. For more information, you can visit smartbotpumps.com. If further assistance is needed, you can call our helpline at 1-866-807-1227. Our service center staff will be happy to help.